Hi everyone, Ashley here with Ashley Ospendary Photography. Today I'm going to do a video for photographers on light painting. I'm going to go over the settings and the equipment you need to do it, and then we're going to go outside and actually do light painting. I can't wait to show you, and I hope you enjoy. To light paint, you need a camera that has a manual setting, and that is the M right here on my camera. For your settings, you're going to want your shutter on bold, and this allows you to keep the shutter open for as long or as little as you want. You're going to want a low ISO, and I like to keep mine, you know, 1 or 200, and you're going to want a higher f-stop, and I like to keep mine about f8 at the lowest, and this is to make sure you don't have too much ambient light coming into your lens to your sensor. Since we're going to use bulb, you're going to need to plug a remote into your camera. This is just a regular remote, and it enables you to push the shutter button down and hold it. And then when you're ready to release your shutter, you can just release it like that and it stops the exposure. You can use any light source. We're going to use a pen light and it has a blue light. And then we're also going to use a regular white light flashlight. Since your shutter is going to be open for a long period of time, you're going to want a tripod to make sure your camera is stable. If you do not have a tripod, just make sure to put your camera on a stable surface so it does not move. We're outside and ready to light paint. We can't wait to share the photos with you. Another thing you can do uh, to light paint is use speed lights, and this is the Canon 580EX2. I set my mode to multi. I made sure to put it on minimum power, which is 1 1 28th, and then I put it on 40 20. The 40 is the number of flashes in a row, and 20 is 20 hertz, and that's the number of flashes per second. <laughs> Joel and I had a lot of fun doing this video and we hope it inspired you to try light painting. If you end up trying it, we would love you to email us the photos you got or you can leave a video response. Can't wait to hear from you soon. Thank you again for watching.